Okay, uh, we're now looking at financial models dealing with exponents. So we have a problem here that's got the word compounded in it. Now if we got the word compounded, that means we need to use the compound interest formula that was given in the notes. So to review, that formula is this one. A equals P, we have 1 plus R over N raised to the NT. The N is the number of times it's compounded per year. So in the notes, we have a list of all the different types of keywords to look for. Semi-annually would be n is uh, 2, annually n is 1. We have quarterly where n is 4. This problem has the word monthly. The word monthly means that we're going to we're going to be compiling this 12 times per year because there's 12 months in one year. So let's go through and, and indicate what our variables are for this particular problem. The $300 is being invested, so that means that my principal, my P, is going to be 300. My R you need to change this into a decimal. So we move the decimal place two places to the left. That changes it from percent into a decimal, so it's 0.12. Uh, your n, your n is going to be, we said was going to be 12, because that's how many times it's compounded per year, and it's 12. And your t, your time is going to be, has to be, it will be in terms of years, so it's going to be 1.5. Uh, one and a half would be that as a decimal. We're going to take all these numbers and we're going to put it into the formula and we'll just compute this. So I have area equal, or my uh, amount is going to equal my principal, 300, 1 plus your rate. Okay, so again, make sure you're using the decimal version, 0.12, over n, my n is 12. And I have a 12 up here too, so 12 is multiplied times 1.5. So, so I'm putting everything all in there. This is going to give me my amount, so it means that I'll... I'll find out how much is actually sitting in my account after uh, I have all this interest has accrued. That's what this formula actually talks about. My amount is equal to 300. I have 1 plus, okay, so 0 0.12 divided by 12 is going to be 0.01. So I have this. I'm going to multiply 12 times 1.5. You're going to get 18. So now I have 300 times 1.01 .01 raised to the 18. We want to do this one in our calculator. To do that, you want to use the care key or the exponent key that's on there. You would take 1.01, .01, you hit your care key, 18, you get a number for that, then you'll multiply by 300. So you don't need to write out all these steps, but I'm going to show you what you should be getting in your calculator. If I take 1.01 .01 and raise it to the 18, then I'm going to get this, 1.196147, some more decimals you'll get after that. So you would get this number if you just do that part separately, the exponent part. Well, then you're going to hit times 300, and then that's going to give us the final answer, which is going to be $358.84. So this is, this is what you should get in your calculator once you go through all these steps. So if the question asks for how much money do we make for interest, you would just take this number minus the 300 and that would tell you that you'd have $58 would be your actual interest uh, if it asked for that. This one only wants the amount, the amount that results from the investment, which means that the amount you have here would include uh, the extra interest. So this is pretty much what would be in your bank account after that interest has already been added.